But they're flinging beads at us. Boogie, 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 boogie. This will only run you $20,000. But this is like cold bake, guys. We've got a big day planned. We're going to the Cursed Coconut Club tonight at Universal Studios City Walk. First, we're going to start the day at Disney Springs. A couple little merchandise things. I'm going to get something to eat, do some new food. Then we're going to head off to Universal Studios. Cursed Coconut Club, Mardi Gras stuff, and uh, some new Disney merchandise. First little stop of the day is that Deluxe Burger. Now, Deluxe Burger always has these wild new burgers. We're going to be reviewing the new one. It's a French onion dip burger. Here we are. We are at Deluxe Burger, and this is what we're here for. Alright, so this is what we're dealing with. I've never had a soup burger before, so it's going to be the French onion soup burger. Two pressed signature blend patties topped with French onion ragu, Gruyere, Gruyere French onion dip, and a truffle aioli on a herb parmesan Parker House roll. A lot happening right there. Not the prettiest looking thing. So let's see. All right, let's uh, let's dip the burger in the French onion dip. Just finished French onion dip burger. Incredible, oh my gosh. Nice, herby, beefy, oniony flavor. Sometimes with the French onion, right, the onion overwhelms everything. But it kind of blended and mixed perfectly with the cheeses and the seasonings. 10 out of 10 on the whole thing. It's a must. Some good stuff. Chef Remy would approve. Would you say the burger was herby and fully loaded? <laughs> Some pretty thick clouds in the sky. Let's hop into World of Disney real quick. Disney's kind of like recalled these and taken these off the shelf, the ears with the drip on them. Uh, let's read the description that Disney wrote about the 100th anniversary drip stuff. The Disney Park statement for the new merchandise drop is Minnie is dripping with excitement as she celebrates Somebody knew what they were doing when they were writing that. $35, they have these new ears. It kind of looks like, uh, you know, if you just like put glue on some Mickey ears and you spread out some uh, like nerds candy. That's what it kind of looks like. For $30, they have this new Steamboat Willie ornament. I'm really excited to ride uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway to Disneyland next week because the queue has the actual wheel. They have little, like the little Munchling mystery set. Does anybody actually like Munchlings? I don't see them flying off the shelf. $28, they did get some uh, like a Mickey ear hat. That same kind of like nerdy design. For $45, they have this like Evil Queen coaster set. So you lift it up and there's the poison apple right there. $35 they have what? This is like a Maleficent candle. $45 they have this matte black Ursula little pot or planter. You know what'd be good if you had like a tiki bar or something but making a giant shareable cocktail in this container and like calling it the Ursula. I feel like that'd be really cool. They finally made some merch for Strange World. Blat but he's a little plush. It's gonna be $23. It's so, like some annual pass holder check out their reservation frustration out on Mickey. For $40 they have the Tower of Terror Pop. I did pick this up. I didn't go with the Disney exclusive though. I went with the standard one for Mickey's in his like normal color costume. All right, now for mystery price, they have this brand new t-shirt, really cool. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, but the one I'm really digging, this one also has no price. It's Jungle Cruise. You get the hippo coming out of the water, Adventureland. This is really cool. They have brand new Boba Fett ears for $35, but they should have just continued his helmet. Just doesn't look right. I just popped in a little art gallery here at Springs. Look at this like sculpture of Dr. Facilier. You can see a shadow in the back. It lights up. That thing's really cool. You're looking at $160. Then over here, you're going to get some of the country bears. These are each going to be $150 for these sculpts. This is a very interesting table. Um, this is going to be original art. Honestly, quite a bargain. Uh, this, this will only run you $20,000. We're gonna hop into Trendy and the co-op. Uh, I'm on the hunt for a lamp. Right, we hopped into the co-op real quick. Uh, this looks, <laughs> this is $40. It's like some green toxic waste fireworks over a green castle. I'm okay. But uh, I do kind of like this Big Thunder Mountain shirt over here. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, grand opening 1980. You're looking at $40 for this. It's like the average price is like $40 now for a Disney t-shirt. Now these are $40 each. They don't come as a pair, but they have a Tweedledee and Tweedledum Hello. I believe this is given to Roy Disney. It's of Mickey, but <laughs> Dobby at Disney World. What? Thirty dollars. They have this new hat. Walt Disney Studios. Love the stitching on it. Walt Disney Studios ears. There's like confetti or little stars in it. Thirty-seven dollars. It's Prison Mouse. Nice to meet me. This is what we are here for. They have it here at the co-op. I don't know how I'm gonna carry this thing. <laughs> Let's do it. Got it. Looks like it's on a giant body bag. But they're saying uh, it's limited to ten per person. So the resellers are snatching these up. So we got the lamp. We're gonna open it a little later in the video. But now it is time to head off to Universal Studios for 
the Cursed Coconut Club and all the other Mardi Gras stuff that I want to show you guys. All right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We're back at Universal Studios. It's time to go to the Coconut Club. I swear there better not be a private uh, event. Hopefully it's open. It's open, thank, thank the Universal Gods. The Cursed Coconut Club is open. We're gonna do a whole rundown, review a couple drinks for you, show you all the fun little Easter eggs that the creative team put in there. Now the first little Easter egg you'll probably notice is these, this graveyard It was reused from Halloween Horror Night 31 from Graveyard Deadly Unrest, one of the best scare zones. They repainted it, added some graffiti. Yeah, they got some fog going. Oh, I'm digging the voodoo vibes. You want to sit in it? What you think? Boogie, 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 boogie. I put a spell on you. You always gotta go upstairs. This is gonna be the uh, the Baron's shack. They have tarot cards lining the entire wall. The tower. This almost reminds me of a uh, you know the pilot episode of Game of Thrones. Digging this. There's just like a skeleton with a little hat on, chilling and vibing, living his best life. He's just like, oh my gosh, look at the detail. This is gnarly. There's like a pig head inside there. Like talking, things are creaking. <laughs> I don't like what's going on. Got a little Fiji mermaid right there. All right, so guys, I got the Bayou Thunder orange juice, passion fruit syrup, Reynolds grenadine, fresh lime juice, simple syrup, plantation, overproof rum, pusser's rum, bitters, and the orange wheel garnish. Let's see how it is. As we know, the Christmas drinks were rough. Then they made the drinks for the great movie Escape, which are amazing. So I'm hoping these are good. Now you're really getting hit with those bitters. Right, let me finish this, then we'll do a little full review. Bayou Thunder, I think I'm gonna do a seven out of 10. It's not amazing, but it's decent. Um, yeah, rum, orange juice, it's fine. Now for the first mocktail, they're called Mad Mocktails. This is gonna be the Midnight Wanger, chocolate syrup, blackberry concentrate, coffee, and a pinch of smoked sea salt. All right, let's see how the mocktail is. Blackberry. That is it funky. It tastes like chocolate covered blueberry. That is strange. That thing is funky. We've come up with the taste. It's kind of like, like, a, like a blackberry Tootsie Roll. You get the hints of coffee. It's very like chocolate berry heavy. This is what Allison thinks the mocktail tastes like. If you've ever had these. What'd you say, Jamil? Yeah, so in my 40 blah, blah, blah years on earth, I've never had anything like that before. It was interesting. For the mint night mocktail. I think I'm gonna do like a 6.5. All right, time for the next little mocktail. Then the other mocktail we got is the Meta Airy Punch, pineapple juice, blackberry and mint concentrate, agave nectar, lemon juice, topped with tonic, raspberries, and pineapple. What's up with that mint? It's, it's like a, a fruit punch, right? And then there's just mint in there. For, for no reason. Then the punch kind of just tastes some more like a tropical mint and julep almost. So I think for that one, I'm also gonna do like a seven out of 10. What's the fun fact of the day? Well, okay, I sneezed and I and they said bless you. And I said, that's fitting because that that's the whole story. Why people say bless you when you sneeze because the devil's trying to get your soul. So this is the true fact. People used to believe a sneeze caused someone to expel their soul out of their body. And so God bless you or bless you was used as protection against the devil snatching your soul. I like that these like decals are stickers. It looks like it's like boards, right? But when you look through, it's like there's broken boards. It's a great little detail. Right here, here's a little window. They have added some tables outside here with some planters kind of fitting with the theming. 
They got the fog going. You can look over City Walk. I believe this was from the Witch Doctor's cart from the All House Eat Boutique from last year. Now it's time for the next drink, the Scarlet Vivi. Lemon juice, simple syrup, hibiscus syrup, New Amsterdam gin, bitter truth cream, de violet, and a fresh raspberry. Let's see how the drink is. All right, that's better. That's, that's more, more my vibe. For the first time in a long time, I've actually like really, really enjoyed a drink here. I enjoyed the drinks during Halloween time, right? Christmas time, an utter disaster with that drink menu. Uh, the Scarlet Vivi, nine out of 10. It was almost like a uh, hibiscus kind of fruity refresher. You didn't really taste the alcohol. I feel the alcohol, that's, that's all that matters. And the berries were soaked in like all the juices. It was very good. Nine out of 10. When you're coming here, get the Scarlet Vivi. That's the only one right now that I fully endorse. What's the info that you just got? All right, so I was talking to the bartender up here and I was asking if they're gonna have a secret menu again like they did for the Green and Red Coconut Club. She said that they're working with their managers with Universal and everything that make an official Universal secret menu. And basically what that will mean is the downstairs portion of the bar, you can't find the secret menu. They'll have to send you upstairs to the upstairs portion of the bar, essentially like a speaker and an exclusive menu for only the upstairs ball. Here you have brains, here's like a conjoined skull. That's creepy. This is utterly terrifying, it's just a wall. Oh god, they're talking. I don't like that. They're whispering and making noises. Uh, but there's a wall of just voodoo dolls everywhere. Like, look at that creepy little thing. There's so many weird little voodoo dolls hidden in here. Now, they always have a mold machine in here. They're gonna have the Mardi Gras skull. And then here's the green skull that you can get for $8. Spotted an Easter egg. So the Tribute Store from two years ago, they had like a sunken ship. And this was the girl on the uh, front of the sunken ship in the Tribute Store from a couple years ago. Now when they were teasing the Coconut Club, they have a little Easter egg right here. This is from the dead Coconut Club. This is gonna be the creature from the Black Lagoon's hand. I thought this was one of those like shaggy dogs or something, uh, but it's like candle wax. Now upstairs they have a little wanted poster for a gator. So I found it, Kevin. Wanted, roof gator, Lindsberg, dead or alive. Where is he? We found him, he's on the roof. <laughs> Spotted the gator, he's all the way on top of the DJ booth. That is a nice little nod and a fun little story element. So I've been searching for the shirt. They don't have it at a single location inside the parks, at Islands or Universal. Like the shirt, get one next door. Get one or more at the Cursed Coconut Market. So we'll have to go stop by. All right, so right next door, they have the Cursed Coconut Market, and we're here for the shirt. It's all the same merchandise, but we're here for this. I've been on the hunt for this shirt. All right, so for $30, you can pick up this shirt. A little backdrop right here, the Cursed Coconut Club. So anything merchandise, Mardi Gras related, they have here for you. All right, we just finished Cursed Coconut Club. Love the shirt. Uh, love the aesthetic. Now it's time to head into Universal Studios. Oh. Try some different food. Right, we came in, the parade is happening. We'll cover the parade another day, but they're flinging beads at us. Everybody's having a blast. Everybody's got a big smile on their face. Those are the best times to come to Universal Studios for the Mardi Gras event. Oh. Now, speaking of the uh, first Coconut Club, underneath Boris Schuster's private investigators, they have a little psychic, and they added a little Easter egg for Curse Coconut Club right there. You can see the menu and the drinkster. I wish they had the drinksters with the drinks. All right, so the booth that we're going to, located by the mummy, this is gonna be Canada right here. So we got the poutine with short rib gravy, crispy fries with short rib, cheese curds, and a brown gravy. The short is pretty good and tender, but I wanted a little bit more robust flavors, but it's still solid, 7.5. All right, now this looks very interesting, the bacon. And we also got this weird looking candied maple bacon, chewy maple taffy covered pork belly with chopped peanuts and chocolate. Okay. It's cold. I like the tribute store bacon, the, the chocolate covered bacon, but this is like cold bacon, like ice cold bacon, three out of 10. Don't get this, get the poutine if you're coming to Canada here. Well, on that note, let's go back to the office. Okay guys, uh, we're back at home. I've been kind of gone for a little bit. Um, I've been kind of dealing with two kidney stones. We flew to California. We covered Nintendo World, which is coming up next. That's the next video coming up. But I talk about uh, my thoughts about the Curse Coconut Club. And uh, we gotta show off the new lamp that I got. Bunch of really cool art, right? With Walt and Mickey. And this thing is massive. This is a huge box. This is based off the Walt Disney Studios water tower. See what we're dealing with. Okay, we got the, the top part plastic, I think. Here's the water tower base. I thought it was gonna fit like a really big light to be like a proper lamp. I don't know if I can use this as a proper lamp because that's that's the light bulb. Small little guy. So uh 
Let's put the light bulb in. Oh. Top that in. This is the end of the cord. It's a USB. And let there be that a weak little lamp. I think the design is cool. This is the full little design. $100 and uh, that's the light that we're dealing with. This is not going to light up a room. Honestly, kind of disappointed. Now let's talk about the cursed coconut club. As you know, the coconut club is one of my favorite things to visit and, and cover for you guys. The creative team always does such a great job of like transforming this space into something very unique that you got to go visit and experience. I really dug the voodoo vibe for this year. And also a lot of you guys have been asking about if the American Sirens are coming back. I believe they are. I believe they're just having their kind of costumes being worked on. So in the coming weeks, the American Sirens, the singing group, will be coming back to perform at the Cursed Coconut Club. I think the creative team did a great job, as always, of making it something amazing. But now let's talk about the drinks. I don't know what's going on with the bartender who's in charge of making the drinks, but whoever it is just keeps trying to reinvent the wheel. Very easy just to have a simple cocktail, simple ingredient. But whoever's designing these drinks throws mint in there, throws bitters in every single drink. Make it simple. The secret menu is always better than the actual menu, so we'll be covering that coming up. But the only one that I liked out of the four drinks that I had was like the Scarlet Vivi. The other ones, like, I honestly wouldn't get again. I would get a Scarlet Vivi again, and that's the only one I think you guys should get if you do go to the Curse Coconut Club. It's kind of in this weird, like, struggle right now because the creative team makes something amazing, but that's only half of it. The other half is creating good cocktails. Now, it is a full bar, so you can kind of get any drink that you want, but people want to come there for this, like, special, unique drink. So just please make the drink simple. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Okay, the Curse Coconut Club is not some experimental bar. It's a theme park bar. Give me something nice, easy to drink, simple. I'm excited to try the secret menu when it comes out. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts about the Curse Coconut Club this year? And uh, this amazing shirt that they're selling, you can only get it at the market right outside the Coconut Club. So you cannot buy it inside the theme parks. I tried. You cannot buy it at the normal Universal City Walk store. You can only buy it at that market right outside the store. We have a lot of videos coming up. I've just been, uh, it's been kind of a rocky road for me this past week with my health and travel and all that stuff. I'll update you about about all that in upcoming videos. But don't worry, I'm back. We're gonna have a bunch of videos and more content coming out for you guys. Next video, Super Nintendo in California, Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm so excited, I had such a blast out there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button, join the family. We, we love, love the, the family. family. Because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Universal Studios and theme parks around the country. Love you all and I'll see y'all very soon. Hey, boogie, 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 boogie. Alright, time to throw the beads.